Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this fabulous Thursday. I know I'm doing great. I have been so excited. Uh, my video tonight is like happy birthday to me. Um, I will be the big 4-0 tomorrow on the 19th. I've been hearing so many good things about uh, stuff that's supposed to be going on tomorrow. Many miracles, many surprises. I keep on hearing my dad yesterday. He kept on telling me, surprises, surprises, surprises. You're going to love your surprises. And then I was talking to my friend Oracle Jen. Like I always say, go to her page and support her about her baby. Please do. And, you know, and she came up and told me, you know, there was supposed to be all this exciting things that's going on on Friday, you know, and I was just thinking about it, like, I wonder if anything, you know, is supposed to be, or is it something I really want to happen, but then she was telling me uh, about the numbers or whatever, basically, if you add the numbers together on the 19th, it comes up to number seven, and I've been seeing a lot of sevens, like, my dad was born on uh, the seventh day. And so I just kept on seeing visions of people coming to my house and knocking on my door. And I've been preparing myself. I've been so daggone nervous because <laughs> I keep on hearing my dad say, prepare, prepare, be ready, pre prepare. Your blessing is here. Your blessing is now. And so I, I've, I've, I've been hearing that for the last few days and I've been so anxious and not really anxious, but nervous. Like, oh my God, is my family going to like me? Is this really going to happen? Is this really going to happen? Oh my God. So I'm just, I'm praying that it does. So, um, when I was at work yesterday, I was talking to, um, this guy at my job and he was just like, do you, you ever felt like you there's somebody you need to forgive? And I'm just like, this just came out of blue. I'm like, oh gosh, where is this conversation going to go? But it draw me to him. You ever hear about, you, there are certain things that you need to hear at a certain time. Everything has a funny way of presenting itself to you. So I was feeling just sad because I'm ready to be, you know, with my family. I'm just like, I'm about to be 40. I want to be able to celebrate it with my family. It's just, I missed out on so much. You know, I wasn't able to go to my dad's funeral. I wasn't able to go to any of the tributes or anything like that. So I'm just like, I want to be with my family. And it, it's just, that would be the most perfect time because it's, that would be the gift that keeps on giving that I, I always since I found out I was adopted and the situation it went on, I really didn't care for my birthday too much because it was always a painful reminder of another year that went by and I wasn't able to see my family. So hopefully this year will be that special year. So um, it, we've been going through so many different shifts and like I was telling you about the, the, the reunion with the twin flame, things have been got, getting so clear to me like I'll, I'll get things and I'll have that aha moment every five it, it seems like every five to ten minutes I'll be thinking about something and and I'm just like oh my gosh that's what that was so um it, it's just really crazy but when when the guy was telling me about that he was just like can you write this down for me I got something for you to write down I was talking I went back I'm sorry basically with my situation, I always, I, I guess it's, I, I have ADD, I always switch up <laughs> subjects, I'll go back to one one thing and then switch up the next thing and be like, what is she talking about? But uh, he had asked me to write this down and he says, when forgiveness takes place, fear disappears. And he was just like, but when you write this down, write down all the people that, that has hurt you and is finding it hard to forgive. And he brought up so many emotions, like, I'm like, don't make me cry, please don't make me cry. He was like, turn around, I need to, you know, I need to talk to you. And I'm just like, tears are streaming down. I'm like, I don't know this man. And he got me up here crying like this because I know I need, really needed to hear that. Because I know if I'm coming close to my blessing, there is no amount in my heart that I should have anything to fear. And I really don't fear anything except be my family <laughs> but that's more of an exciting thing because you always fear the unknown um but it was something i really needed to hear like I, whatever i need to have forgiveness for go ahead and do that and he was just like ask god for forgiveness ask them for forgiveness but on the first of that lift put your your name at the top because you need to forgive yourself also for all the things that you feel guilty about that you never were able to let go and 
it was like that man was telling my story because there sometimes I have that lump in my throat like oh my gosh um, you know I'm getting so upset why is I thought I was good <laughs> you know and sometimes you really are not good when you feel like okay I'm over this I'm about to do it and the next thing you know that is another situation about that situation comes up and next thing you know you're upset so I've been going through all these these attacks where these memories are coming back about my family and the things that they put me through and sometimes it's like it's a thorn in my side but then I'm just like you know what you have overcame that yes it did happen yes it was messed up but you're not there anymore you're not there anymore even though it hurt just learn from it and move on just send them all blessings so that's what I have to do so guys I just stopped by to say hey and I'm, I'm making a short video today guys please forgive me but I'm still getting prepared hopefully you know something good will happen tomorrow so I'm still prepared for this but I just had to stop by and tell you that and I felt so good after I talked to that man he gave me a big hug and you know he felt like he was my grandfather so he touched me he really did so that was good for me so I, I guess that's one of my things about going through my experience with twin flame or whatever <laughs> because it was like when he was telling me about the situation it's like all these memories started coming up at one time and I'm just like God forgive me God you know forgive those that hurt me or whatever you know take this anger out of my heart so I mean I felt so much better and I felt so much lighter because I didn't let it have power over me so if anytime you feel yourself is getting stuck in this situation and you get angry about it don't let it have power over you look at it for what it is and keep it moving so I will talk to you guys later hopefully something good will happen this weekend so um, I will talk to you guys later send love and light and many blessings please keep me in your prayers and I, as I will with you all right like subscribe and get in touch with me and I will talk to you later peace and love bye